when I work, um, a lot of times I turn it this way for you, get rid of towels. I, I tend to work um, in what I think of as a cruciform shape. I like that. And I think you saw it in the original, in this first piece I showed you. I like that sense of a, of dividing the, the paper and creating for me wh where I'm going to be able to balance my focal point. And it may change as I work, but I think it's very important, especially in a, a process that's somewhat spontaneous and that you're, you're kind of problem solving with collage is you have these little bits and you want to be able to give yourself a framework to place them. Now, for those of you who like to work with softer, rounder shapes, I, I think that's possible too. Um, I'm not as good at it as others, but I have been taking a class with Aaron uh, uh, McCluskey Wheeler. And uh, so she's helped me by being able to use softer, rounder shapes. And so this is just an example of that. But you'll see that cruciform shape is still there. I'm still crossing at the third and still bringing your eye to this, this line. So when I ad address what I'm going to be working on, I usually am using that shape. I'm usually working um, toward that kind of balance. I think uh, the, the important thing and for all, I mean, I know all of you have studied art and, and have exposure to art, but I think it's important also to, to limit your palette when you're working uh, in any medium for the first time. And for me, I, I tend to work a lot in the white, black and red, but anything white, black and whatever it is works for me too. <laughs> so I think that that can be very helpful um, and it helps uh, I think it just helps you train yourself to look at the importance of the, the shape around the piece as well, limiting your palette and, and really um, being able to use white as part of the values is very important. 